Never miss an episode of Create, Build, and Manage Daily again. Subscribe to our podcast and listen on the go. My next guest is an intuitive business success coach for purpose-driven women. Amber Annette is with Sold Inc. and she joins us via Zoom tonight. Amber, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely, appreciate your time. So I wanna start off, what does an intuitive business success coach do? <laughs> um, something a little bit different each time, depending, you know, depending on the client, for sure. I think that's, that's the point of bringing the intuition to the forefront. Um, but I think most of the time it's, you know, working with the, um, working with the power of presence, working with the emotions of having a business, working with, um, your gifts and your values and your vision before working with operations and branding and marketing and those kinds of things. Those things fall in line and sales happen naturally when you lead from within. You know, we're so often prone, a lot of us, to get our to-do list that we have. So how does following your intuition differ mm -hmm. from, say, having a to-do list? I mean, I think the to-do list typically comes from our mind, right? It comes from the things that we're taught to do, we should do, we have to do, versus the, I can't not go do this. And so when you start to follow your inner knowing and when your inner knowing, your intuition, I kind of like, you know, we have different words that are together. But when you follow that instead of the have to do, some interesting things are going to start happening. You're going to have more magic. You're going to have more flow. You're going to have more conversations. You're going to be acting from a place of vision. And when you start to do that is when you get the real results that you really want. The result don't typically come from a to-do list. If you think about strategies, most of the time, it's not the actual strategy and it's not the actual plan that you put together that gets you where you want to go. It's the energy, it's the action. And um, I, I really believe that when you blend energy plus strategy is when you get that that soul and that success all in one. You know, a lot of people uh, are watching tonight are probably used to, you know, doing things a certain way. And you're kind of giving us a different thought process on that. So when I think about thinking in my mind, you know, how it can wonder. So what should we be focusing on each day to really get the mind where we need it to be in order to have that focus and get things, uh, get things accomplished? Yeah, I think for me, um, you know, and the way that I work with, with my clients is teaching them that all of your power is in the present moment. And when you're fully present and when you're fulfilled in the moment that you're in and um, then you're able to receive like. I don't know, maybe you've heard this term before, like then you can receive like the divine download, right? Then you can receive inspiration. Then you can receive new ideas. And it's coming from a place of new energy. It's coming from a place, again, from that place of vision. But most of the time, what we're doing is we're paying attention to the thoughts we're thinking and the replay of things that are going on in your mind which all the mind knows how to do is recreate things that's already done. And so I like to think of being present in the moment so that you can receive new energy. You can receive new ideas that are so aligned with your values and with what you want to manifest in the moment versus like what's been going on in your past, which is all your mind can really connect to. I want to put so your when you start to do that, you'll start to get really interesting, really interesting results, like the results you actually want. There you go. I want to put your website up there for those at home who are watching Viz TV. It is uh, soldinc.com, but it's spelled S O U L D inc.com is where you can go to find out more what yeah. Amber's uh, talking about. Yeah. Uh, unpack a little bit more the benefits of following your intuition. What are the benefits of it? Um, well, I think you get to start doing things that. Um, are calling to you versus, again, the things that you have to do. Um, it, it it starts to lead to, you know, doors, more doors opening for you that are aligned. It starts to lead 
to doors that are meant to close for you closing. Um, more experiences, more circumstances, more events lining up for you because it comes in from that place of intuition comes in from that inner knowing it comes from that higher source that is guiding you towards something. It's, um, you know, when you start to follow your intuition, the universe is going to respond by giving you evidence that you're heading in the right direction. And that's all that we really want to know. We want to know we're going in the right, we want to know we're going in the right path. Um, you know, after doing, you know, this for almost 10 years, I don't know how many thousands of coaching sessions, almost every single person, they, they want it. They, they want some validation that they're going in the right direction, that they're, um, that they're moving towards the, the right path. And when you do that from a place of intuition and when you do it from that inner knowing, you can never get the path wrong. So how does that relate to, because at this time of year, a lot of people want to talk about, you know, what their goals are. Maybe they call it New Year's, New Year's uh, resolutions or things they want to do differently in 2023. So how does, how does that work for you when you talk about, you know, following your intuition as you look ahead? Do you take time to kind of sit down and, and think about, man, what do I want to accomplish? What do I want to say this time, you know, a year from now? Yeah, I think if you talk to probably 100 people today, they would all have a similar story around goals and New Year's resolutions, which would be they get all excited this time of year. They have about a two week period where they think about what they want 2023 or whatever year to look like. They might even pick a word of the year or something along those lines, right? And then somewhere in January, it's going to start fading. It's going to start faltering. And so my invitation would be to do something, disrupt that pattern. And again, if you like think about it, that's just your mind trying to tell you what it's already done before, which is the habit of like, setting those goals, setting those New Year's intentions, setting those New Year's resolutions. So my invitation would be to feel into something a little bit different. Maybe give yourself a New Year evolution um, instead of just a resolution. And instead of picking a big year-long goal that starts to fade pretty quickly, what if you gave yourself a daily goal of being as present as possible and see what new exciting ideas and expansion can happen for you? Because all we get is in the moment. All of our power is in the moment. So why not just make the moment the actual like the actual goal? Amber, appreciate it. Again, intuitive business success coach. And you can find out more what Amber's talking about by going to her website. Again, it is soldinc.com. And when you spell that, it's S-O-U-L-D Inc.com. Stick around. This is Create Build and Man and Daily. 